Okay. Cool. This is Sarah, and this is Carl, and I'm trying to get him actually in a robot moving mobile form by the end of the year. Yeah? Those of you who don't know who this guy is, this is uh, Noodle's primary competition for his parents' attention. This is his sibling. The story on this particular lawn ornament is that some years ago I acquired it from the ether and decided that it needed to become a robot because how cool would a uh, lawn ornament robot be? I decided early on that this robot lawn ornament flamingo needed to rove around on the ground and I thought it would be particularly pleasing if it was one of those ball balancing robots. So imagine like one long leg sticking down from its undercarriage uh, with some motors on like a claw, you know, three axes, and it just sort of balancing around on a ball and going around doing what robots do that balance on balls. Needless to say, this was a huge undertaking. Uh, it required a lot of support from Mark regarding the uh, programming of the motors. There was going to be three involved and they needed to work together mathematically to balance in real time. And we threw a lot of energy at it and got nowhere really. Eventually, at some point in time, we watered it down and decided to give a shot at creating just a single axis balancing robot that had sort of two wheels on the bottom so that it would only have to balance going forward and back. Um, I think we got it close to working, but uh, we had issues with the stepper motors we were using, so that didn't end up coming to fruition either. Uh, I got nowhere. So I think the thing that I decided to do from here on out is to solve problems for the things that I want to create uh, using basically the abilities that I already have. And if you don't know who I am and you aren't familiar with what I do, I am not a programmer. I do not do any coding. I am a shapes person. I like to solve mechanical problems. So there are some devices on the market that have already solved this balancing problem, which is not a trivial problem. Uh, if you know what I'm talking about, which I think you do, uh, that is the hoverboard. If you aren't familiar with how a hoverboard works or how it is driven, it is basically two wheels, right, that are motorized, and there is a foot pad for either foot on either side. Each foot pad has two switches, one in the front and one in the back. When the foot pedal rocks forward, it engages the switch that tells the motor to go forward, when the foot pedal rocks back, it engages the switch that tells the motor to go in the opposite direction and go backwards. So if both foot pedals are in the forward position, both wheels go forward. If the foot pedals are in the back position, both wheels go back. And if there's any combination of the two, then of course the wheels will rotate against one another and the device will turn left or right. I'm creating a mechanism, a motorized mechanical thing that I can attach to the hoverboard that allows Carl to steer it around. So he's going to basically become a parasite on a hoverboard that he's going to leverage to make him mobile. Yes. So uh, I created this little, it's just like a test proof of concept thing, and this is going to be my motor and it's going to drive some sort of simple, simple mechanical linkage back and forth to press on the foot pedal, which would be here. So yeah, I don't know. It might work, it might not. I have no idea how much torque it's going to take to actuate the, the foot pads, those pressurized foot pads. We shall see. It could, it could not work. That's one of the uh, possible outcomes of doing something that, using something in the way that it wasn't intended. Um, yes, I realized that I could just directly control the motors or the switches and create a controller board and completely cut out the need for a mechanical portion altogether. But for the time being, I think it'll be a lot more performative and a lot more interesting visually to create an actual mechanical device that operates the hoverboard similar to the way that it was meant to be, I guess, manipulated, which is with pressure and force on the foot pads. So I went out yesterday and I invested in a hoverboard. The one I got was by um, Jetson. Yeah, it's a Jetson hoverboard. 
Uh, so it, it was a decent enough price. It says that it's all terrain. So from this point on, now that I've announced what my intent is, is to actually stream all of the individual steps involving the creation of this device. I'm going to open up that box and I'm going to start probing the hoverboard. So until my next update, um, video or stream, uh, keep making awesome stuff out there, and as always, thank you for watching. And Carl says goodbye too. He says, he says, you should make a pink flamingo robot. <laughs>